Hi, today I want to tell you about Ready API version 2.0 release specific to service virtualization that allows you to virtualize and create different APIs. In the latest release, we've updated the UI where it's much easier for you to intuitively see different operations and methods that are matched to your virtual asset. You can see different responses and you can also have easy access to actions like delete, edit and copy when it comes to these actions. We have also added new feature that allows you to not only create a new virtual API from traffic, but also mock some logic around it. Let me show you how it works. So if I search Google Maps API, and I am going to use a browser to interact with that API. So you can see when I called Google Maps, this called actually a local API, and we were able to capture a response directly from there. So I can interact with the local API in the same way. So I can look for different cities when it comes to Boston, Chicago, maybe NYC for New York, and maybe I'll find some bad data set that returns no data. You can see we are adding different responses based on that traffic. When we now stop the recording, we now have a virtual asset that allows us to access Boston responses and we can edit that, that as well. So here, for example, we can add a new parameter very easily. And we also have actually auto configured a dispatch style that understands when we go to Boston, Chicago, NYC. So we can, for example, default it to no results. If I search for another city, this will default to no results. And if I search for Boston, this will come back with a response that includes the new parameter. So with this latest UI, we've been able to capture traffic, understand its configuration and replay it a lot more intelligently and represent everything in a much better graphic interface. Music